in this video we are going to explain or discuss what is the spring security and also we would have the demo hands-on step by step but this is the second this is the second part of the spring security uh, video series so i would recommend please visit the previous video that link is coming on up and also i have given in the descriptions then uh, this is a continuous of the first video so i would recommend please uh, uh, watch that video then come to the video for better understanding so in the previous uh, video i showed you that how you give the hard code credential and you can do the authentication and the authorization with the help of the in memory right and uh, we also showed you in the previous video that the different uh, different type of the password encoder how you can encode the password in this video in the stage of the hard coding of credential we will use the database and we will save the credential in database and then try to access that right so uh, that uh, i have already explained that uh, spring security is uh, give you very flexibility to implement the security in very short period of time it also support the authorization authentication and many things you can uh, do it easily and also i explained in the previous video what is authentication and authorizations and what is the filter mechanism right and uh, this uh, this architectures i explained but again in this video i will again uh, explain these things okay so first i will do first start the code and then uh, we can again come back to understand this uh, architecture right so i will be continue from the previous video where i got stop here in the previous video i have given the hard code for the username password in encoded password right so in this video i am going to continue from there so it is very highly recommended to visit the previous video right okay so first and foremost what you have to do you have to create one user entity right that uh, uh, we used to do that uh, in the previous video we have done that so what i will say you make the uh, user entity and in that user entity uh, so first you make one package your entity and then you give the name user info okay and here first this is our entity right so this is you have to tell to spring framework that this is my and then you have to first give the table name right so table name you can give anyone so i will give just the users right let me import everything yes and make three uh, uid then username password and which row is there right i'm keeping the one row for the one user but you can keep have the multiple one right so but uh, you know uh, but for these things you have to add the jpa in your dependency so go to the pom and you have to add the jpa dependencies and and also we have to work on the uh, the mysql so you have to add the mysql also right so let me copy the jpa part data jpa is the jpa and also we have to copy the dependency for the mysql because you are going to connect the mysql so these two dependency we have to add in the right and i have already added the security and test and wave everything is already there right now come here and you do the import now everything will be the input now we can do that right it would be working fine finish it right now you should have the setup getter for everything so let me have the right click source and the setup getter select all and for the id you have to inform to the spring framework this is my id and this time i am not going to generate the id so i uh, i am not going to enter the id i will say to 
to spring framework you can generate the id on behalf of me so you can just at this line it will generate the identity themselves this spring framework we are not doing anything that our job is that done but we are going to implement our users right so if you want to see the diagram what it says it says that so what happened that when you give the request is come to the uh, this filter authentication filter and they will whatever the username password as a token you have given it will forward to the authentication manager and we have the many way to verify your credential that through the database that through the avdap that through the plain text file so this guys has to choose the appropriate authentication pro provider but this is just a interface it has the one implementation class provider manager and they will select the appropriate provider and then you have to make the service that is a user detail service and then you can make the custom credentials and those things should be uh, the you have to implement the user details right your user details uh, the interface so that's why you have to implement the user details here so implements user details right the moment you will do it you have to no to many you have to import many unimplemented methods right so if you see you have to unimplement many methods but it doesn't look good right this is not a way we should do that right so uh, we should have the some uh, different uh, class for this purpose to make the good code observations right it does not looks good right so what we have to do that then we have to don't do this here okay make one separate user info detail class in the same entity and we will do there so create the class here and here we will do the user info details and here we will implement the user details right and i would also need the user info so what i will do i will say the private user info right and make the constructor for this make the constructor go to the option and take the advantage of the constructor with the field they will make the field right oh that much is not required so yeah user input should be sufficient right and that is also not required user should be the u caps right okay now we can add the or the implement or the uh, unimplemented methods here right so in this uh, uh, security spring security you can implement many things whether your account is enabled or not your account is disabled and all those things so if you see here that let me make some more space huh? is your account is enabled or not those those things we will not check in this demo okay so make everything is the true credential non expired and all those things we are not do that we will say that everything is okay you just check the authentication and this is and it is asking for the username right so username how you can get the username you know we have this here from this one we have the username right so say username and the password also how you can give the password this one got get password right and this method is for the authorization so authorization we see later not now just wait a bit right now we are almost done here right so now what we have to do now we have to make one the door layer right door we will connect with the database right so make one door layer 
make the DAO and give the name user info DAO and as we have already seen that in the previous video that just you have to extend the uh, means uh, this should not be class this should be the interface if you see my uh, previous video on uh, um, boots video you will understand we have to extend the jpo repositories and that user info is the class and my id is this one that's it and i have to uh, make one method here um, that method is required so i will say i need one method abstract method that name is the find and it will return the user info this method i want so my do where is work is done now go and service where we have to make one service where right so you should have the entity then service then door that so if you see my uh, this youtube video i have explained everything in there okay so now make the service and here we say user info service so in the user info service what we have to do first and foremost that you have to implement user detail service why if you see the architecture user detail service we should here right so i am creating this complete part here so we make the user detail now we need the user detail service so that's why this user detail service is there and we have to implement so you have to override some methods right so you go say the unimplement this is the one method that name is the load by username that we have to do that so what we have to do we want to fetch the username password from database right so we should have the DAW right so our we have already made the DAW and you can do the auto wired so it will automatically auto wired here and here what i have to do i have to do and one method we have made it right so find find user by username right and username already we are getting right how the username is coming here again if you show the diagrams so he took the tokens everything in passing the username every year right so in this class also we are giving the getting the username right so what you have to do here and it will return you the user info right user info it will return okay so now if this username is not exit suppose then you have to take care for you have say if this username is not exist then you have to throw the new exception this the same exception right here and say that user does not exist this user does not exist and enter right now you cannot return the user right you cannot return the user why because it need the user details right and for the user details we have this one user info detail so you have to make this one and when i make this object i have to pass the user info here right so what you have to do you create the new one and pass your user that's it it should work now So if you see now I have the user entity. Let me show you. I I'm have sure I understand. so I have the user info, then you have the user detail, then we have the service where right. I showed you this is the the service where so let me save it. Then I have the DAW, right? Then I will show I have the one database also. This is the MySQL database and i have this much of the table so according to the user info they will create the one table with the name of users that right now i don't have but to connectivity you you need to go to the resource and in application properties you have to give or the 
credential and the direct where is the your database or those things you have to give that so i have given the database my database name youtube username password all those things you have to give it right so now the time came to remove our the hard code spring configuration right if you see here go to the security part now i no need this hard code no need because everything we have given that now this is the time to remove everything right and just give the remove everything it is not required at all right and you have to give dot but you need the first the service then only you can use that right so because through the service you can connect the database right so you have to give an user info service right and make the auto wired here right it should work right and now you have to do the auth user details service and pass this service so now they will check the credential with database right and password i will say for the time being keep the uh, noobs sorry it was the noobs password right noobs password encoder dot get instance okay and for time being also i am not going for the authorization so for the time being you leave it you just comment it out we will check it the later first check the authentication part is working or not right okay so we forgot to one thing before we start that in the user service you have to add the service annotation right it is required now after saving we can restart we can start our application now it's everything fine then you will see one new table has been created with the name of user you can see it is created so if you see the describe table users so it is there now do one thing first add some data in this table because i our focus is that just to for the authentication uh, with the different module you can enter the data here right so users i have to give username password and the roles right and the values so this name i will see username is the abc password is the df and row is the user right and add one more for the admin right so admin username give xyz and password is uh, anything one two three four right and enter so now if you see here i have two data right and see through this information they are able to connect or not right so okay now go open the here and we will check through the admin right so hit the admin page and this time i am not giving the authorization part so any password should work fine so if you see if i can give the uh, abc and def it should work so give the abc and def it should work awesome right so now it is going to database and coming and uh, and uh, doing all those things right the same way uh, you can do other things also so this part is working let me quickly connect for the authorization part so for the authorization part what i said you go to the security where is the security 
here right and whatever we have uncommented now comment it right authorization part i need so with the row it sometimes it does not work so use the uh, authority because for the rows it needs one prefix for the this one so there is no much difference here so just for the has the authority do the same thing and has the authority okay and then I told you in the user detail that time I did not do anything this is method for the authorization purpose so what you have to do here here you make the object because it need the list because one user could have the many uh, roles right so but for time being I am making only one row otherwise you have to make the one to many applications right one to many relationship for the simplicity I make one user one roles so now in the authorization part you have to add the roles which roles they have so if you see that in the authorization get role how we can get role we have the user information here right and uh, user information we have through the parameterized constructor so get the user information and do the get rules right and now you have to pass the authorize this much you have to do that then it should work now that that is the, this method is for the authorization purpose this is one thing and another thing i showed you right this is the security part right this is the security part both are now connect and do that okay we start and check whether our the authorization part is working or not so it should work <laughs> let me check everything will fine go to the page and go to the admin but this time only admin can access right so because i i want to open the admin page i have given the admin page so now try to give the simple user so i want to give the def and see whether it is working or not username is abc password is def so abc and def it open admin page or not it is not opening right because this user does not have the admin permission and only the admin page can be here if you give the slash admin only the admin guys can use that right so what you have to do you go back i can just log out because it save in the session and uh, now i want to check the admin and this time i will give the admin password and see your work not x y z one two three four five so x y z and one two sorry one two three four five and see it is working now perfect it is working right and as i have said that for the base you have no need to give anything right so it should work let me go and again log out if any session is there and now if you try to just base it should not give any credence here it is working fine so i explain end to end everything uh, please like this uh, video and share among your friends and thank you very much keep watching keep learning thank you